My best card, holographic dark Charizard. <laughs> best card. Not the original Charizard, that one's even better, but that's what I got. I was I was way more into Digimon. I still think that's that's uh, a respectable anime. That's true. I like the first season of Digimon. That was probably my Yeah, that's the best one. Best one. The second was okay because it was still connected to the first. Third was just ridiculous and then I just stopped after that. Same with Pokemon, like Pokemon was alright until uh let's see. Well I don't know. I was I was never really a fan of the show, but I seen the movies, a couple of them. Yeah, the movies were good, but like the first not... one is just out there. It's like whoa. Yeah. And then the ending's stupid because they don't remember anything. That's true. <laughs> those those are weird. But let's see, um the show like, did, did you ever, were you ever in, did you ever watch Nickelodeon when you were little? Actually, I have to be the only kid on this planet to not <laughs> watch Nickelodeon. Well, for anyone out there who watched Nickelodeon, I was a huge fan of Guts, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Double Dare, and um, what would you do? Those were probably my favorite Nickelodeon uh, shows. So if you ever watched them, drop us a message. I'll, I'll talk to you about them. But other than that, what other shows did you watch? What did you watch when you were little? That's what I was doing. Yeah, let's see. When I was little, I think I watched about almost everything that was on TV. I don't remember. They were just all stupid cartoons. But the ones that I just listed, they were some of the things that were more popular that yeah. I could easily remember. I know I know a show that I used to watch that wasn't popular, but I still liked it. It was called Rupert. And it was about this British bear and his British bobcat friend, or a uh, badger, or badger, or something. And they just had like these little adventures. It was it was real lame, I think it was based off like a book series or something. But it was like, when I was a kid, it was real nice, and like, they, I guess it taught you stuff. I don't remember anything from it, but I named my first hamster after that bear. <laughs> oh yeah, hamster. you had a bomb in there. Anyway, I was saying that <laughs> The thing, about, the thing about the Pokemon series that kind of got me ticked off is... going like, back to Pokemon. Yeah, sorry, but this is just something that really got me ticked off is... They, it'd be, the games and the show would be in the same area, but like in the games, there would be you know, a certain amount of towns. But in like the show, they'd visit these random-ass towns. Yeah. Like, Any other shows? Let's see. Yeah. Um, I don't think so, Spirit. Alright, well, then, how about we go to our first music break? Very well. So. Alright, this was, uh... Uh, this was a song I picked. It's an indie band. Probably one of my new favorite bands. I got a lot of good songs, but I picked this one. It's called, uh, the song's called Vindictive, and it's by Absolution Project. Right here on Unspoken Hero Radio.
Hey, we're back, and that was Vindictive by Absolution Project. That was a good tune, man. Yeah. That's like the first time I've heard them. And you know, that just goes to show you that you don't have to be Slash, or Tom Morello, Eddie Van Halen, or even Mick Mars to really rock. <laughs> but that, that's a good song. They're one of my new favorite bands. Yeah, you gotta uh, tell, awesome. me you, tell me where you found them. Yeah, I'll show you later. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them. Go to the61.com, and you get a whole library of indie musicians and some you can download for free, you just gotta sign up, it's free. It's cool. And, I wish I knew about that. Very nice, nice, nice slow ass. Nice, nice oh well, I'll help you out, don't worry. Alright. Alright, so let's go on to our next next topic. As we mentioned before, and it's in the trailer, there's clips of the show, we want to talk about an old school anime. That's right, we're anime fans. The show <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Who wasn't into this show Dude, when I it made it over here in America? I'd go up to any person in my school. He'd be like, you were into Dragon Ball Z. They're like, dude, man, yeah. that was the show. That was yeah, awesome. like right now, they're like, that was the show. Back then, if you if you tried talking about it, people didn't want to talk about it. Like, oh, it's an anime, but it's so cool. But, you know, I might lose my rep. <laughs> but I couldn't. Oh, it was such a tight show. Yeah. I mean, it had, it had wacky characters. The story was pretty pretty good. Yeah, most for the most part. Most part. The villains were off the wall just whack. But, yeah. but, but you know, you, you sat through and you watched it. Like, but no, the, the one thing I hate, and I know I've told you this a million times, the one thing I hate, if you guys remember Frieza, any of you out there, when him and Goku were fighting on Namek, and Frieza threw that big ball into the planet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he threw that big ball into the planet. <laughs> He, he it went in and he's like, the planet's going to explode in five minutes. Twenty episodes later, three minutes to go, Goku. <laughs> it's, it's like every episode after that was a flashback of the last episode. It's like, yeah, that was last episode. What do you guys, you know, you got to punch each other some more? Yeah, twenty episodes. That's like, uh, it's like, what? It's like, twenty episodes is like twelve hours or well, something? I, I, don't, I don't think it was exactly twenty, but it I, felt like it. That was it, somewhere around it, it might have been like five. No, probably, no, I think like, it might have been more. It might have, yeah. But like, it felt forever, and then it finally blew up. And, then, and you know you know what? It finally blew up, and they both lived. Frieza, remember, he went, he got blown away by Goku, but he still lived. Yeah, and then, and then Goku, him. you see him get blown up with the planet, but oh no, wait, like ten episodes later you find out that he flew over and got into uh, that Spaceship. ship, that little ship that was left behind from like the Ginyu Force or something, and he got away on that. It's like, are you kidding me? Yeah. It's like Goku didn't even kill Frieza. It's like Trunks from the from the future. He ended up killing Frieza when he came back to Earth and all that crap. See, I kn I know everything about this show. It's it's scary, but I I can't help it. It's like uh, other other than Frieza and Cell, I think Goku killed every other villain on that show. I think so. I haven't really seen the whole entire DC, but like, yeah, lots well, of stuff that I have seen. He, did, yeah. he didn't kill Raditz either, his brother, yeah. in the very beginning of DBZ, but he yeah. helped. Yeah, you can't really kill your own brother unless you're like pretty sane. He wanted to. He held him so Piccolo shot him, remember? Yeah. With the uh, the old special beam cannon. 